Welcome back. Let's jump straight in. Taking our Hold You Down Brow Fix and its gel like formula, we push this through the hairs starting at the roots. Then, on a 125 angled liner brush, we're taking espresso brow paint, lightly extending out the tail, then sketching through with a flicking motion to create light hair strokes. Then let's glide our base along the underneath of the brow starting from the front to the tail and around the top with a more natural colour to blend in with our foundation, pat a pat patting to set and secure it into place. Next taking our Blend Away 2022 palette on a 143 brush we're applying our darkest to our lightest blends working slowly with a sketching back and forth motion. We've created a wave like cut crease shape which we're now going to define with our cut carver. On a 7072 brush, we've glided it along, framing around the natural arch of the eye, pushing across towards the side of the nose to give this opened and wider finish to the eye space. Now we're going to add more shadow to this outer section, working with our Blend Away palette once again, starting from the darkest to the lightest, then focusing on our ladder of success to blend back down and re-intensify those colours. Next, let's use our P. Louise paints on a 123 brush, working slowly to start to carve out our shape, keeping it thin then widening it later. Then coming in with our rewipe paint to work around those edges and you can see how this starts to bring some definition and create a little bit more of a 3D effect. Moving back to our lid now where we created that cut crease earlier, we're taking our paint shade 4 and we're working along the edge stamping slowly with the tip of the brush to create a precise finish. Then with less on our brush, we're going to pat a pat pat that paint down and start to build up a bold coverage. Softening away those edges so it blends into the skin smoothly is an essential step. Then coming in with some more paints, we're using this in a back and forth motion once again to soften and blend them into the skin finely, merging those edges together for an ombre and layering over with our shadows to get that nice, bold, intense colour. Then coming back to our artwork, we're going to swipe along the skin and layer up our paints. Then with our fallen line liners, we're starting to splatter on the skin and applying some rhinestones over the top and a P. Louise Extra Volume Lash to pull this look together. 